Time for the KSL in depth. If you have a copy of the free KSL News Radio app, you want to fire up the live video stream right now. I have a video clip for you to see. Let me set the stage for you. It's late February. A couple of Roy police officers get word of a suspicious guy hanging around a convenience store. They roll up to the door and they see Nicholas Sanchez there. I'll let the body camera video explain what happened next. I'll let you know. Really? Yeah. Come over here and talk to me. Oh, no, man. Are you with him? No. Come on over here and talk to me for a second. What for? Though? I just told you why. Come over here and talk to me. Let's go. Really? Or do you just want to be arrested right now? It's your choice. What do you want to talk to me for, though? I will let you know. Come over here. We got called on you. What did I do, though? I'm going to talk to you. Come over here and talk to me. Come over and talk to this officer. All right, just go. Okay, over here. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Oh, sorry, look, I ain't got nothing. You got a gun on you, do not reach. Yeah, do not reach for it. Put your hand. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Watch out, watch out! Those pops you just heard are gunshots. In the end, Sanchez was dead. These two officers ended up on leave, and I'm joined now by our reporter, Mark Juke. Mark, who is this Nicholas Sanchez? Well, police say he had an extensive criminal record back in California, not a lot in Utah, but it included uh, attempted murder. It included uh, a lot of robbery charges and some drug possession and other charges uh, that uh, stretched back, uh, as I said, to California. He had just been released, apparently, from prison, was on probation, should not have had a gun uh, by, you know, by any uh, means. But, uh, of course, as you heard in the video, uh, police noticed that gun in his waistband, and that's when things escalated very quickly. You hear the audio, it might paint one picture. Adding the video in gives a more complete depth of what transpired. Are these officers in the clear, or could they be in trouble over what happened? Well, the investigation continues. The Weber County Attorney's Office is investigating this shooting, but Roy police say they felt that they needed to uh, release this video, partially because of the request of a lot of local media, uh, you know, and, and, and because those body camera videos exist. But they also say they believe their officers acted properly. All right, thanks a lot. KSL News Radio's Mark Juke. You've been listening to The In-Depth at 15 and 45.